Today I wanted to do a little different from what I've been doing before. I wanted to do just a couple of colors. And so let's start out with a couple of cups here. And I have my, my place set up here where I can move if I want to. So I can slide that out of the way. I'm going to do some mixing. And I'm going to start out with some black. This is uh, basically basics. It's basically basics. That's awesome. And I'm going to put a little black in there. Get a little black going. Oh, let me get a couple of stir sticks here. Popsicle sticks. You got to call them popsicle sticks, you know. I got a nice little setup here. I'm actually in our dining room. I've upgraded. The garage was just too hot, folks. Just too hot. I got some chunky glue in there. So I'm going to do some PVA. This is the Elmer's glue. And I'm going to put in a pretty good, a sizable amount in there. Let's say that. Some water. Let's get that mix going. This time I'm going to use the silicone spray too instead of the three-in-one. I haven't quite mastered the three-in-one yet. I've been really screwing up with it, so I'm not going to try it this time. Got the black going. Man, that's like almost a perfect mix right there. How did I do that? I don't know. I don't bloody know. Okay. I hope I didn't offend anybody right there. I do have people that watch from the UK, so don't mind me. Okay, I'm gonna leave that about right there. I'm gonna grab my heavy duty silicone spray. And Let's see, my white, there we go. I almost thought I forgot. I was like, no! It means I would have had to stop the recording. So put some white in there. I'm gonna get a pretty good chunk of white, so. Then put the glue in there. Got it going on. Lots of it. So this is basically going to be a black and white. Oh, water. Water. Scalpel. The big pores are hard. Like, seriously. It's hard to judge how much paint you're going to need and Sometimes you'll end up mixing paint right in the middle of a, a pour. That's why I like to keep the uh, certain colors in, like the white in these bottles, because you can just grab it and go. Because you use white all the time. Okay, I think that stirred up pretty good. I'm gonna put a couple squirts of silicone in there. Mix that around just a little bit. Mix this one around just a little bit. Get this back over here. 
I got a medium palette knife to work on this. And I was kind of thinking about doing a band like this across there. But then I kind of wanted to do a full full on pour of a black and white because I haven't done that yet. So I think that's what I'm going to do. Mm -hmm. See, let me get this black spread out just a little bit here. I was going to, I was just thinking about doing some negative space there, but I can always do that with a white too. Get that covered. I get this out here so I don't have to um, burn up a lot of my uh, mix. What do I mean by that? Um, burning up the mix. I mean if I'm swiping too much on there to get the white to blend in with the black and yada yada. I'll get the black all set here. Get the corners nice and done. That looks kind of cool right there. Leave it, it's done, okay. this towel I don't like when it digs in like that I don't like my palette knife to dig into anything I don't know I kind of like where I was going there Let me hit it with the blow torch, or not torch, but dryer here. It, that's really cool. I have some awesome cells going on right in here, especially. That is really cool. It looks like pearls or something. I really love it. 
I'm glad to be working with the silicone spray again. The I didn't really care for the three-in-one silicone oil. That was kind of ticking me off. I really love the look at this. And that's awesome. I like how it has a certain waviness over here to it. And on the corners, I can come in and fill a black in there. So remember, basically all I used was black acrylic, white acrylic, gloss, and the glue, the PVA, or Elmer's glue. It's all the same stuff. And uh, some silicone spray. It's the CRC Heavy Duty Silicone Spray. All right, I'll, I'll let you have a closer look at this one. And thanks for watching.